guys! Today, we are going to see the best alternative keyboards for iPhone, when Apple's default keyboard just doesn't feel good enough. A lot of people switch keyboards for one simple reason. Fewer typos, better predictions, and faster typing. So let's get started! In this video, we tested five popular iPhone keyboards and helped you decide which one is right for you. If the main thing you want is fast casual typing, with swipe typing plus quick GIFs and emoji search, then Gboard is the first keyboard to try. In testing, the biggest win with Gboard is convenience. Swipe glide typing feels natural, and searching for GIFs is built in, so you don't keep jumping between apps. It's the kind of keyboard that feels very plug and play for everyday chatting. Now the downside. On iPhone, it can feel more limited than expected because iOS restricts what keyboards can do, so it doesn't feel as powerful as it does on Android. Also, some people run into reliability issues over time. If your biggest complaint is Apple autocorrect makes weird mistakes, or predictions don't match how I write, SwiftKey is the keyboard most people end up loving. In real use, SwiftKey's strength is predictions. After a bit of typing, it starts feeling like it understands your style and completes words more accurately. It also feels great for people who type a lot every day and want fewer interruptions. The downside is that it can sometimes learn the wrong words. Like if you mistype something a few times, it may start suggesting that mistake as if it's correct. And again, like Gboard, the iOS version can feel restricted compared to other platforms. If you type a lot of professional messages, emails, work chats, client DMs, and you care more about writing quality than raw typing speed, Grammarly Keyboard is the most useful. In practice, it's best when you're trying to sound clear and correct while typing, because it focuses on grammar and writing suggestions rather than only autocorrect. It also comes easily to access grammar writing assistance, so it's easy to fix language sentences with grammar issues. The downside is that it's only focused on fixing grammar mistakes, and most of the other features, like GIFs, clipboard management, and other tools you find on Gboard and SwiftKey, aren't available here. If you keep hitting the wrong keys on iPhone, especially on smaller screens, and you want fewer typos, even if it looks different, TypeWise is the most unique one. The key benefit is the layout style. It's designed to reduce mistakes by using a different key shape and spacing approach. For people who constantly mistype, this can feel more accurate and intentional. The downside is also obvious. You need time to adjust. Because the layout is different, your speed may drop at first until muscle memory builds. And also, the free version has many limitations. That you can find these features for free on other keyboards. If you want speed through gestures, like deleting words quickly, inserting spaces fast, and doing editing actions without constantly tapping, Finale is built for that. I originally thought of including Flexi. However, unfortunately, it was removed from the App Store very recently. After that, I found people recommending this Finale keyboard. So if speed is your primary requirement, you can choose this. However, keep in mind that it's not a free keyboard like the others. So that's it, guys. If you want the simplest upgrade, start with Gboard or SwiftKey. If you want faster editing, Finale is worth learning. If you want better writing quality, Grammarly is the pick. And if you want fewer typos with a new layout, try TypeWise.